Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley. I'm a baby lock educator and today I wanted to work a little bit more on IQ. I wanted to show you guys how in which you're able to select specific shapes within your IQ working space. So here I've got three different shapes. If I want to affect one of those shapes, I need to actually go in and select that shape individually. So what I'm going to do and, th and this is after I've brought these three in. You can see that this area is grayed out, so I can't really grab anything and change it until I do this to it. I'm gonna go to that little key right here, right to the left of memory, and I'm gonna select that. I can use either what it's already on, which would allow me to drag and drop and encompass that whole square right there, or, I can back up and eliminate that. And I'm gonna go into that and grab that magic wand. Now, if I click on that shape, I've just selected that. And notice that these have become, uh, now they're no longer grayed out and I can actually use them. So I can go into size, I can enlarge, or whatever it is I wanted to do with that. Now, if I wanna grab this guy right here, I'll just go back into the IQ, which is already on or uh, into the selection tools. It's already on that magic wand. So all I need to do is to click right on that, right on that shape and we're selected and we're highlighted. So now I can work with that. I can go into the line properties. I can add a fill real easily, which let's go in and just grab something fun to play with. Let's grab this little guy right here. Let's make it my favorite color and go to the bucket and drop that right in there. I can add that anywhere I want now, which you could do that before, but that allows you to affect that particular shape. So let's grab that again. I've still got my, my uh, magic wand and we're back on that particular shape. So let's go into line properties and let's add our Let's pick green. Let's add our candle wicking stitch. I'm going to go to my paint bucket, click right on that flower, and it applied that line property to our flower. So now I've got exactly what I asked it to do, and I'm still highlighted on that shape right there, that little flower shape. So that was just a quick little lesson on how to grab a hold of a design or shape once you've got more than one in that area or even if you are have got one but you've just lost the ability like it grayed out like it's doing right now and you have and you haven't got the ability to resize or reshape now i can also grab more than one at a time i can grab all three of those and then apply when i change my line property let's go in and pick something completely different let's apply that to it and I'm going to grab the paint bucket. Now if I grab that, I need to go ahead and apply that. Now I've got all three highlighted. So I can actually, it's already applied. I already was able to apply that to all three shapes. And now all three shapes have that exact line property very easy to do it's just you that know, you need to know which buttons to click to make it easier for you to um, be able to manipulate all this fun stuff that you can do in iq designer so i hope that little tip helped definitely keep working on iq the more you play with it the more you uh, are able to create fun things if you haven't joined so bless quilting and embroidery please do so we do a live every thursday at 3 p.m pacific standard time and all of our classes are announced and in, in that particular Facebook group. So I'd love to see you there. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.